Fly For Your Fab, and in today's video I'm showing you my foundation routine. And for this video I'm going to use my new favorite foundation. <laughs> it's Kat Von D's Locket Foundation and I wear it in the color Deep 74. I bought this at Sephora for like $36 I want to say and I really really do love this. Um, I got a sample of it first so I could try it out a few times and see if I liked it. The first time I used it I fell in love. First off, I feel like this color matches me way better than any other foundation I tried and definitely um, way better than the MAC Pro Longwear Liquid Foundation, which if you've been watching my videos, you know that's been my go-to ride or die foundation for a long time. I wore that in NW45 in like the fall, winter, and in NW47 in the summertime. Anyways. This color matches me way better than that. I like that it kind of gives me like a subtle glow. And this one is a full coverage foundation. It has 24 hour wear. It's transfer resistant, has a matte finish, fragrance free and oil free. Um, For me, I don't feel like I get oily very quickly wearing this foundation. So that's definitely a plus. Like I said, I feel like the color matches me a lot better. Transfer resistant, Um, for the most part, I don't really notice like a lot of color transfer like if I touch my face and touch something else I haven't noticed a lot of that with this foundation I can say that and as far as fragrance free I feel like it sort of has like a smoky almost coffee-ish but kind of peanutty smell like if that makes sense I feel like it has sort of a smoky scent like when I first pump it out on my hand that's when I notice it but I don't smell it all day um like when I'm wearing the foundation or anything and I do have allergies so like if the scent was an issue like I would have had to put this down <laughs> but it hasn't been a problem for me and I really do love this foundation so check out how I use it in my foundation routine first I'm going to prime my face I'm using the Porefessional primer by Benefit I got that um, mini size at Ulta for like ten dollars and I'm just gonna place this all over my face I'm gonna put a little bit more on my nose because I know I get oily there really quickly and I did start with my uh, brows already done and I already have my eyeshadow done and my lashes Next, I'm going to color correct my face. I'm using LA Girls Pro HD Concealer in the orange corrector color. And I'm going to blend that in with my Real Techniques um, complexion sponge. Now basically, I'm going to place this on my upper lip because I have a little, you know, situation there. <laughs> I place it underneath my eyes to kind of correct the dark circles and over any dark spots that I feel like I would like to correct on my face. And a little bit on my chin too. And now I'm just gonna blend that in. The key here is to pat it in. You don't wanna like rub and wipe because then you're wiping the product away. You wanna like pat it in. And you should get something like this after. Now I'm going to apply my foundation, which I'm in love with. Um, I'm using my Morphe M439 brush. It's like $14 and I really, really love it. It's like the best foundation brush that I've ever used. I'm using one pump of the foundation uh, to get started and I'm just going to place it all over my face before I start blending it in. Sometimes I pick up the product with my brush. Um, sometimes I place it with my finger. Depends on how I'm feeling that day. And again, a little goes a long way with this foundation and I'd rather start with a little bit and then add more because it's easier to add more product after than it is to take it away and we're just gonna blend that in And I'm going to go back and add just a little bit more, just a tiny bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Pick it up with my brush this time and just place it in the areas where I want a little bit more coverage. You always want to make sure that you blend well around your hairline and jawline because you don't want like that foundation line. That's not cute. Now I'm going to conceal and kind of like highlight my face. What I'm using for this is LA Girls Pro HD Concealer. I love these things. This is in the color Fawn. 
and I sometimes place it on my upper lip like when the hair situation is becoming a little bit more prevalent and I haven't gotten threaded in a while. I don't always do this, I just did that that day. Um, so I place the concealer there, a little on my chin, a tiny bit on my forehead to highlight, and then of course under my eyes to conceal. And the key here once again is patting it out, you don't want to like rub and wipe. And as you can see, while I'm blending the concealer out, I'm sort of making like a triangle shape. Sometimes when I apply the concealer, I make the triangle shape first and then like pat it out. But here I put it on differently and just sort of blended it into the triangle shape. And I'll show you what I mean in one second. One thing I've learned over time is just take your time and blend your foundation, blend out your makeup. It makes a huge difference when you just take your time and blend. Okay, so this is the triangle shape I was talking about. That's where you want to concentrate your concealer. Now I'm going to set that with my Sacha Buttercup Loose Setting Powder. I love, love, love this stuff. Um, I'm not going to use all of that. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like. And I'm going to apply it under my eyes, once again using that Real Technique sponge. And by the way, it was damp before I got started, so I'm not using it dry. And I'm just going to place the powder underneath my eyes to set my concealer. I'll place a tiny bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. And this product really does make a huge difference. Like I was skeptical at first when I was hearing reviews, but like honestly, since the day I bought it, I've used it like every day and I use it on all my friends when I do their makeup. So this stuff is bomb. And I'm pretty sure it's going to last me like forever. Last but not least, I'm applying my MAC Blot Powder in the color Deep Dark, and I'm just concentrating it in the areas that I know I get oily the fastest. So that's my forehead, my chin, and my nose. And I like this powder because it keeps my oils in check far longer than any other pressed powder I've ever tried. Okay guys, that's basically my foundation routine. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Don't forget to thumbs up my video and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you can holler at me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm at FlyFierceFab on both. Don't forget to check out my blog, FlyFierceFab.com. Bye, thanks for watching.